Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it's been way too long. I apologize. I was kind of getting into a new routine and my sister moved closer and I'm so excited. So just helping her move and get back into the gym and I've just been kind of off my rocker lately. But I am back with my normal routine and my normal filming routine. I'm really, why do I keep itching my face? Sorry, my hair is just like getting in my lip gloss and it's a mess. Anyways, I'm so excited you've tuned in to this video because this video is exciting. I collaborated with this beauty right here. Her name is Jessica Ann. She is totally beautiful and I'm gonna have all her social media, Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz so you can check out her work. She is such a sweetheart. So let's go and send her the purple heart emoji if you go check out her video, which I suggest you do because you'd be missing out if you don't. I did a dramatic purple look and she did um, a, a softer look using purple as well because we figured I don't know, purple for summer, it's beautiful, you know, especially since you're tanning, getting tan skin, purple is just a great color, even for fair skin and dark skin, so we figured it'd be a great color to collab with, so go check out hers, subscribe to her, she's awesome. Let's stop all the boring chit chat and get on with the video. So I've already primed my face, moisturized, all that good stuff, so I'm going to go in with the Milani foundations, and I've been tanning, can you tell, maybe, a little bit, I don't know, I hope so. I'm going to go ahead and mix the 6 and the 7, now that I have been out in the sun a lot lately, um, I, I need that 7 for like, you know, that tan. And you don't need a lot of this foundation, I personally don't like a lot on my face, especially in the summer, so I just put like, not even a dime size of each color. This is Anastasia Brow Gel or pomade, whichever, in soft brown, and I just use it with an angle brush, and I just outline and fill in my brow. Okay, so even though we're doing a purple look, I'm still gonna go in with a neutral color just so I can define my crease and know where I'm going with all of the other colors. And this one's from the Jeffree Star palette. If you haven't checked it out, definitely recommend it. It's so pigmented, I love it. So just with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and just create my crease. I'm gonna take nylon from MAC, it looks like this, cause it's a really shimmery color. And just place it under my brow bone, cause I do want this to be a more dramatic look. I'm gonna go ahead and just go with something a little bit more frost. I'm gonna take Blackberry from MAC, it's kind of like this really pretty, soft purple, and it's a matte color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right underneath my first transition color with the same fluffy brush. Cause I still want it to be really soft. I'm gonna go in with Sketch by MAC. It's like a darker purple with a flat brush cause I want a lot of product from it. I'm gonna go ahead and just pack it right there on the outer corner of my lid. Doesn't have to be perfect yet because we're gonna go back and blend it in a second. From the Urban Decay Electric Palette, because why not? This is a fun palette. We're gonna take the color Urban and put it on the inner part of my eye. Have y'all ever heard of Truco? I don't know if it's pronounced Truco or Truco, I'm not really sure. But when I used to do hair and makeup in a salon, they carried this brand, and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I don't know if it's because they didn't order all the cool stuff or what, but all of these shadows look like they're like white, but they have like a huge iridescent pigmentation to it. Do you see that? I don't know if you can really tell in this light, but it looks awesome. In the end, this is really what's gonna make everything pop. I'm gonna go ahead and take Texture from MAC. It's like that nice burnt orange and just kind of run it along the base of my lash line. Just to kind of create some warmth with this look. I'm gonna throw a little bit in the crease as well. I love texture. This is just like, I feel like you could use this with a natural look, a dramatic look. It just kind of adds that nice warmth, especially with my brown eyes. I love it. So I'm gonna take Plumage, or Plumage, I'm not really sure. This one's another matte color. I feel like I'm using a lot of MAC today, but I just feel like I just have a lot of purpley tones with my MAC shadows. And I'm gonna take that and just kind of softly blend the outer corner of Sketch. And with the same brush that I used earlier to add texture, I'm just kind of going in and just kind of moving it all around 
I didn't really grab any extra product because sometimes you don't really need to. You just need to kind of blend them all together. This is like a big eraser, the 224 by MAC. I love this brush. Okay, so I found this pigment that I have from MAC. It's been forever, so I'm going to have the color down below. But we're going to go ahead and pop this right on the center of my lid. And I'm going to go ahead and use Motive's glue. Put a little bit on my hand like this. And I'm just going to use right here what's in the lid and just kind of mix it up. Test it out, make sure it has good consistency. If not, just add more glue. You don't want it to be too creamy because then it's like never going to dry. But you want it to be powdery and creamy enough to where it sticks. Oh, I love it. We're just going to pop that in the center. I like color, but I like iridescent colors. You know what I mean? Where it's kind of blue, kind of purple. Where it has like, like multiple colors in it. I love that. And I'm just putting it on my lid. And I'm going to pop it right underneath my eye, but just in the center. I'm going to go back in with Sketch. And kind of darken that outer corner a little bit. And then the same thing with the inside with the urban color. So I'm going to go ahead and take sketch and just start bringing it above that purple just so that it pops more. So I'm just kind of taking it from the outer corner and sweeping it into the middle of my crease. So my camera politely overheated and shut down. So while that was happening, I went ahead and just kind of did some more blending, nothing special. And I went ahead and uh, lined my eyes with NYX liquid liner. Nothing fancy, I just kind of followed my natural shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. I'm gonna go ahead with, with Kuwait. Did one just fall out? <laughs> with Kuwait, they look like this, they're really pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on with some Duo. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pop these right here. Sorry guys, I need my mirror. You wanna get your lashes as close to the lash line as possible. And these are beautiful. I love Lily lashes. She kind of like nailed it with awesomeness when she created her, her ones. They're mink, so they're a little bit more expensive, but when I say you can use them a whole bunch, I'm not lying to you when I say that. I'm gonna go in with my liquid liner and then just go ahead and hide the band a little bit more. And now that I have my lashes on, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color from the Urban Decay palette again, the one called Urban, and just kind of put it on the outside of my waterline. I mean, outside of my lower lash line. Make it really purple down there, which I know is probably a bad thing because I'm probably gonna cry. My eyes are so sensitive when it comes to purples because like the dye that goes in them. In fact, the Jeffree Star palette is cruelty free and doesn't have that dye, so I should be playing with this purple instead. And it's beautiful. I love this palette. If you want to know a secret, I did a look using this palette and then I did not like the video, so I didn't finish editing it. So that's all my to-do list for you guys is to do it a crazy look with this palette so that might actually be next. I'm gonna go back in with this plumage color right here and run it along my lash line just to kind of add some depth to that purple. I'm gonna go in with my favorite drugstore mascara which is La Sensational in Sumptuous? Sumptuous? Why can't I say that? And kind of touch my bottom lashes just a little bit with it. I'm going to go in with my go-to concealer. This is Pro Longwear by MAC. Guys, I usually don't do like cake face, but we're going to do cake face. This is NC40 from MAC. And we're going to set this underneath. And usually I just use an iridescent powder, but I just want extra coverage because I just do. I don't even have a good reason. If you use a light brush like this, you're really not adding as much product as you think you are. So that's a good thing. If you were to use a brush like this one, 
that's like really compact and dense and it's gonna pick up a lot of product. But since this is really light and fluffy, it's just kind of picking up just a little bit, like a little bit of a, a dust to kind of set my concealer with. Y'all know I absolutely love the Motives Contour Sculpting Cream. So we're gonna go ahead and just warm my face up a little bit with that color. Ow, I hit my elbow. I'm gonna go ahead and with another full coverage, it's MAC and NC42 and just kind of go over that. So I'm just really using this color as a bronzer because it's obviously dark. I'm gonna get under here just a little bit. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill, the little sheet came out, Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know if you can see it, it's really reflective and my light is super bright. There it goes, I'm not sure. Um, by Becca, it has Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop and these beautiful new blush colors. But I'm just gonna go in and grab this blush color right here. With the same brush, it's really pretty, guys. So I'm just gonna smile and just kinda put it on the apples in my cheeks. And then I'm gonna use this darker one right here, which I wish it just came by itself because I would buy this forever it's like the perfect bronze color but it has like a I don't know it's just beautiful like it still has a great blush color on top of being like a really nice bronze and it's like matte but like with a faint sheen in it which is great with the violet boss pro palette the highlight powders which I can't open there you go looks like this it is phenomenal it's beautiful I absolutely love it I'm gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of this champagne with this bronze and just hit the high parts of my face. On top of my cupid's bow, the smidge on my chin. And I see a lot of girls putting it on their forehead. I don't really know if I'm a huge fan of it, but we're gonna try it. And for my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use Marvelous, whoa, what? For my lips, I'm going to go ahead and use Marvelous 5 from TNT Cosmetics. I like it because it's nude and it has a really nice shine. But more than that, it's so smooth. Oh, do you like it? <laughs> Let me know in the comment box below what you thought about this look. If you try it out for yourself, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I love to check out y'all stuff. I love chatting with y'all on Snapchat. So go ahead and add me on Snapchat and go check out Jessica Ann's page. Go leave her the purple heart emoji. If nobody has told you that you are beautiful today, please allow me to be the first to tell you that you are beautiful. You are rare. You are valued. You are set apart. You are a gem. Don't forget it, beauties, and I will see you in my next video.